Doc, let me say this too, so the audience can get a just a, uh, a idea of what's going on. Doc, you're actually located in New York, right? Right. right. And and that was one of the one of the hardest hit place for our our elders. So thank you, thank you so much for what you're doing. Now, Doc, you wrote a book, right? I wrote um, a book. Can you can you tell us a little bit? So show us your book. Okay. So it's not a book for the general public. Um, I could write a book on uh, dirty old man stories and how uh, uh, all the things that happen to me when I work on dementia patients. That could be another whole book. But this book is meant for people who are either very young in their career and want to have their own practice from the minute they graduate from dental school um, all the way to I just sold my practice, I'm retired, but hey, I could still make a couple bucks. How to become a house call dentist. And basically, this is this is what I look like on the street with my bag. I usually have more bags than that, but for the picture, I did that. And right. it's literally a recipe book. Every product I use, how much it costs, every procedure that I do or don't do, what not to do, what to do, what everything but what to charge because every area has their own charges. And I'm excited to say, Sonia, that we can have hygienists go out in the community. All I have to do is go examine them and say, you need to have a profi and, or, you know, scaling, whatever it is to clean your teeth. And I, um, I hired a hygienist and then COVID hit. And unfortunately it wasn't the right timing for her. And she just emailed me yesterday that let's get going. Let's start in like October, November. So I could, I could then service so many more people because a lot of people just want their teeth clean. They're 99 years old. All right, they have something happening in their mouth, but they're leaving it alone. But at least now I can serve more people. So that's exciting.